citizens of the reject nation of the galaxy. We are back because it's D23 and there's a Star Wars skeleton crew teaser trailer. We should check it out. G, are you ready? Are you excited? After Acolyte, I'm excited for John Watts', John Watts. skeleton crew. Uh, I'm curious. Curiosity. Let's see, Let's see what D23 has to offer it's us, baby. Be the best one. Leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Let's watch this trailer. Oh. Feels very Spielberg. Tomorrow's Mobile. Test. We'll set the course of your entire future. Little, little Yoda Wars. creature? Did you see that? Don't you ever want to do anything exciting? Like what? Huh? It's we could go so child friendly. In the whole galaxy. Whoa. A real adventure. No more pretend. In a suburb far, far away. buried in the woods. It's like Stranger Things in space. Yes. Kids on hover bikes in the woods. Jedi Temple. Lost Jedi Temple, huh? Let's go. Yeah, it's like Space Goonies. Be careful where you step. Hey, day two. Punch it. Gotta have a Star Wars in December. Really lost. Cute merch characters. Out there in space. And Ewoks. Whoa. No one. Wow. Wow. Woo! Ah. The is Force. It, is it a skeleton key? You're a Jedi. Jude Law. My Jude. Don't call me Judy, I've told you. <laughs> um, not bad, G. Star Wars is saved. <laughs> We're back. Everything's great again. Aren't you excited? Sure. This did look... Pretty fun and exciting, though. I do gotta say, I like the Amblin'y, wondrous, uh, semi-Americana lit Star Wars take. I'm a little curious to know how people are going to respond to S Star Wars suburbs. But what did you think? Um, yeah, I think when you talk about Star Wars, you kind of have to step step aside, set aside whatever you feel like. Uh, the Star Wars fan base might react to your thoughts about on something. Because sometimes engaging with the Star Wars community can be the greatest thing or your biggest nightmare. So the most you can do is just be honest. And I thought this was a fine trailer. Like, it feels like if Spielberg made a Star Wars show. And I think one of the benefits of making it about children, if that could work, is you could really capture, again, like you uh, cited Amblin, you could really see Star Wars again with a sense of wonder and wonder in a galaxy far, far away has sure been lost for <laughs> quite a while. Lacking. And we can use wonder back in our magical force world <laughs> once yeah. again. So that would be nice. And it's interesting that we would get a trilogy of John Watts of Spider-Man movies, and this feels like it has more of a distinct visual flair. Granted, it is like you know a Star Wars show, but it's, I feel like you like, I really want to make like an Amblin thing. And so it seems like there's a little bit more intentionality with the, the picturesque quality of it than you, you did, did get with, like, the whole Spider-Man trilogy. So that's an exciting prospect for John Watts to step into something that's a little bit more long form. Um, but, you know, with it being the era of Disney Star Wars television, which is such a mixed bag with a lot of heartbreak and a lot of disappointment to, like, really big ups and... Really low lows. A, I, I'm just going in, you know, cautious. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm part of, uh, you know, I'm a guy on the internet occasionally talks about Star Wars. So once in a while, you know, I feel like I've gotten hit with a punching bag a little too much. Sure. <laughs> so, you don't then, say. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you <Yeah>. never. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so, I mean, it looks fine, though. It looks like a, like it was a good, fine yeah. first trailer with some cheesiness and Star Wars. As much as people don't want to admit it, has always sort of been cheesy. <laughs> That's okay. Star Wars has always been it's in part okay. for kids. <laughs> 
but yeah. uh, and adults and the kids and all of us, but kids too. And I think that anything as broadly expansive as Star Wars and anything that is as uh, significant a cinematic artistic milestone for many kids as the whole of Star Wars often is, mm-hmm. I feel like a more, as you named, Goonies-centric take on something like this makes a lot of sense, and it all will just come down to if John Watts and company can create an execution that transcends the feeling of fan fiction, I suppose, which to me, this was interesting because I certainly am somebody who's like, oh, I would like to, as much as I like the aesthetics of Star Wars as they are classically represented, I also am like, yeah, we, it would be nice to get some like new stuff in here and some new vibes and some new aesthetic cloth to cut from. And not that this looks like it's completely reinventing the wheel, but it does in a quirky way look like it's taking us to other spots that we're not really used to spending time in, at least in the movies and TV shows. You know, we've seen the schools here or there, but this looks like a very normal kid across the galaxy school that they're in, not some kind of like they, they stumble upon and, it. And in a maybe that's Jedi what temple. they need. I think that could be good. I mean, like, the one thing is it looks a, a little bit foreign to the rest of the universe, which I can imagine, like, really riling people up because as much as people want fresh Star Wars, they also seem to also want a certain amount of it to be sort of crystallized and unchanging. Uh, so I'm curious to see how people are going to swallow that. But I liked at least the general vibe that this was pitching me the kids at least from the vague amount of interaction we get from them seem like they have potential to have that nostalgic charm and that sort of whiling away the hours of a summer on our bikes kind of feeling getting into trouble you want to poke a dead body all that stuff uh and you know john watts good at working with an ensemble i think this actually is kind of exciting because it seems possible and i and i want to say he's talked a little bit about keeping this kind of in its own pocket unless i'm confusing him with a different director of the star wars universe because uh there's so many potential projects now but uh i, I don't know might be getting confused with andor nope it was definitely <laughs> not Andor. i wish uh but yeah this at least looks like something that can give him a chance to to yeah bring some more authorial stampage because the spider-man movies he did even no way home which has the most of what feels like a particular director's vision on it still gets mired in a lot of the stuff yeah you know that the viz effects team has control of and one thing that they did cite is that his story does take place during the same time frame as the mandalorian so maybe we'll get a mando cameo yeah, maybe we get to. grogu interacting we'll, with our other kiddos we'll get a whole episode that's just Mando and the child. Oh. Yeah. And Jude Law, too. I mean, uh, he's always a very, very charming actor. No Yon matter Rog. what role you throw Yon, him in. John Rog is back. I think Jude Law is one of our greats, and I'm excited for him to get uh, an action role. You, know, you don't really associate him in, in a role like that. I'm excited to watch him mentor some kids. I know. I know, especially after playing Alfie. I feel like he can oh, really cool. pull it off. Uncle Jude, yeah. yeah. What's it all about? It's about education and tapping into the force. Yeah, man. Well, and I'm the ready. friends we made along the way. Well, I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. If you're ready, leave a comment and like this video. That's the best way to show that you're ready. And, uh, yeah, what are you excited for most about this show? Say something nice. I dare you. Anyway, we'll catch you for whatever's next at D23. Love y'all.